Claremont Bond and I became good friends with Tony Quinn. Now, you got to know Tony Quinn. Tony Quinn could not say hello to you. You know many actors that do this. Whenever he saw the Claremont and I would be together, and we'd sit down at the table and say, we're going to have dinner tonight. This is wonderful. My family, my... These are my people. My people. Ricardo, I'm doing a movie in August. You're going to be Eddie and done. You're going to be Frank. You're going to be Frankie. That's the movie. It's going to be great. We're going to be great. Both go home that night. Ricardo, you're going to be Louis. I'm going to be Frankie. We're going to be in a movie with, it, with Tony. I think, yeah. Don, this is great news. Great news. This is wonderful for both of us. Wonderful. Boom. Dissolve. Two weeks later, we go out to dinner. Uh, I'm with my family. This is so great. Ricardo, you're going to be Phil, and Don, you're going to be Al. And I'm doing a movie in September. We're going to be together in that movie. Go on. Ricardo, you're going to be Al, I'm going to be Phil. We're going to be in a movie together. Boom. Man did that to us every time, and like two schmucks, every time we bought it, we'd call each other. And we're, going to be, and we're never in the movie. Never, never, never. Now, dissolve. Now, he takes me to see Marcel Matzo, who was in town and was a good friend of his, to see him do, do his mind at USC. I said, you know, Tony, I, you know, that kind of stuff, I, I'm not too crazy, but you're going you're gonna to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy it. We get there, we sit down. Ladies and gentlemen, Marcel Matzo, he comes out. And Tony, this is going about a half hour. I say, you know, Tony, uh, uh, you know, Don, we ought, to, we, ought go, we ought to go outside. I can't. Yeah. This guy's making me nuts. You know what I mean? So don't say nothing. We get up nice. We go to the door. We stay in the wall. I can't take it anymore. Guy's making me crazy. I say, okay, okay. Go outside. He says, listen, you got to do me a favor. We're going to go to a scholar after he gets through with his bullshit with that boom, boom, boom. And you gotta talk to him. He wants to be in a movie with me. <coughs> I can't. I can't put this man in a movie. You talk to him because I I'll get too crazy. I you you you, you in your funny way, you 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 could say something. Gee, Tony, just do what I tell you. Get to the place, Marcel Marcel comes in, sits down. Tony says, uh, you you want the uh well, uh, 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 karate the wine. Wine, wine, brew bread, 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 and the butter and my oil, butter, oil. My son was sitting there, little tiny guy. Tony says, "Go ahead, tell him, tell him for Christ's sake, get it over with, Tom." I said, oh, uh, "Marcel, uh, I enjoyed your show tremendously, sir." And uh, I don't know. <laughs> Tony says, "You know, it's a joke." He says, "But." Uh, he don't think you'd, you'd, you'd be right. Tony, isn't that right? You know, he don't think you'd be right for the movie. That's correct. That's what I said. And Marcel Mousseau says, I don't understand it. Why can't I be in the film?